Hey guys, this is a wee post World Strongest Man interview. I've got a few questions that I'm going to answer now. Yeah, enjoy it. What was your most challenging event and how did you overcome it? Being in the stone off against Gavin. I think purely because Gavin and I are, are very close, we're very close friends, and I've got a lot of respect for him. And I knew going into that it was going to be a, a real big battle, you know, for me to, to beat Gavin in the stone off. I, I, was have to, I was going to have to be at my all time best in the stones. So mentally, I was very prepared going into that. I knew that. Mentally, I could go into a very dark place and keep pushing, and you know, and I think that's probably a, a testament to myself and and the mental kind of preparation I've done. You know, separating friendship and work was was something that I had to do in, in that event, and thankfully I managed to do it. The dumbbell, because I knew that out of all them event, dumbbell is my weakness, and it's always been a weakness. You know, in training, I've been frustrated with it. Every other comp I've done. I've never been able to get over like 110, so I don't think I really overcame it until I did the first rep because I think the first dumbbell we did was obviously I said 110 and it was the worst looking press I'd done in my life and I was like, okay, this is going to go bad because I failed the first attempt and I hadn't enough time to get the second one. But then after that, and I calmed my nerves and I seen the bigger dumbbells, I was like, yeah, I know what I'm capable of, I know what to do, let's do it. So then after that, I took more time when I was going out. I used the one minute time I had just to kind of, you know, have a few deep breaths, really kind of channel what I was meant to be doing and just get that aggression. So that's how I kind of overcame it. But yeah, for me, mentally, it was the most toughest. Obviously not physically, but I think that's the one that I lost a lot of sleep on and was really kind of worried about throughout the whole prep I was doing. What was your favourite event and why? Dumbbell, you know, like, usually I talk about this as bad, but I think to hit, you know, because I didn't realise I hit a Scottish, uh, sorry, a British record until Nathan said that after me, you know, you said, oh, you hit 132.5, that's a... A British record and to think that we've had so many great pressures in Britain like Eddie Hall is one of the, uh, the strongest man probably statically it was the strongest man statically alive so to overtake him and to think well I'm actually a better dumbbell press than Eddie Hall it's cool no one in Britain can beat us so that that's, was a very memorable moment it's just when I started to come alive I think started to shout started to get aggressive started to switch on and for both Tom and myself to to press and 132 and a half kilos. Real big event for both Tom and I and um, getting to watch Tom kind of shut some people up as well. It was really cool because I know a lot of people had you know, said this is a weak event and all this stuff. Um, and for Tom to go out and press the way he did um, made me exceptionally proud of him um, and, and his performance. What did you learn from this comp that you'll take away to future events? For, from Worlds, I learned that yeah, I'm, I'm still good enough to be top 10 in the world and to be better than I thought was possible. You know, so coming into this, it was a, a bit of a mental battle for me, you know, because again, I, I see comments and I see the doubters and stuff. That's fine. You know, I'm not, I'm not an idiot. I, I, I know people are always going to say that type of stuff, but it still gets in you. It still kind of, you know, puts you puts your mind in a different place sometimes. Um, so for me being able to really set that aside and really have that pure belief that I was going to make the final said to me that I was supposed to be there and I deserved to be there and I'll be there for many years. Yeah, basically what I learned, you know, it's like I always concentrate on myself and always make sure my performance is the best and I give my all and if my all's not good enough then that's fine, you know, and I think like in previous ones I would have given up, but like I gave my all in every single event. You know, when I was falling out behind a wee bit, I was like, right, mentally I was getting a bit, what's the point? But then I was just like, no, what, let's just, you know, make a statement of myself and came into Arnold so un out of shape. And then I had to get myself in a really, really grueling routine for five weeks before Worlds to really even, to even try and even get on a podium. Cause you know, two weeks into trail, I was at, I'd be lucky to hit a podium. So. For myself, I was just proud that I was able to train for that five weeks, keep my head and then go to this competition and just give it my all. And to have five weeks and to get my dumbbell from where it was to there in five weeks is exceptional for myself. Doing the best I could in each event and that's all I could ask for and that's what I'm going to take away from. You know, I want to be able to put what I can and what I do into World Straw as man into every other competition. And that's the kind of mindset that I need to take now into other competitions. Like, right, Royal Albert Hall coming up. Just because it's, pardon me, Royal Albert Hall, I can't now start treating, saying, oh, it doesn't mean much to me because if it didn't, I shouldn't be there. So I'm going to, my next event is all about how I'm going to go in 100% focused, aggressive, and determined to win that show now. Whereas, whereas if it was a few years ago, I'd be like, right, the only show I care about is world. So that's also what I've learned is trying to change my mindset to 
have the world's strongest man mindset, but have that in every single competition I do. Uh, in your opinion, who was the most improved person you've seen in this competition from last year? I would say Big Evan. You know, Evan, because he made the final, he came top five. He showed like a real sense of maturity during the, the heats. And yeah, it was just really nice to see Evan kind of come up and, and be where he was supposed to be. Um, and obviously you can't, so the biggest improvement was of course Mitchell Hooper, you know, from going I think eighth place last year to winning it this year. Um, huge improvement and he's he's really gone away and, and worked on his events that he thought he needed to work on and yeah, proof is in the pudding and he's now world's strongest man. Yeah, I think obviously, you know, Mitchell Hooper, um, you know, he's been talked about for every single competition he's done and I think obviously he was you know, a very improved from World Strongest Man last year. His results in other shows have proved that he's, you know, a really, really good athlete. But World Strongest Man, like I said, is a total different ball game. And a lot of people that can win one day shows or two day shows, shows always crumble under the pressure of worlds. And he didn't, he was very consistent, you know, looking very, very strong and uh, got his rewards. So I think, in my eyes, Mitchell Hooper was the most improved and like the best athlete I think to be to be against. Whose performance surprised you the most? I think Evan Singleton was, uh, I think that pe you know, people don't really believe him when he said he's got potential. I, I, I know, in Ev like the thing is with us and strongmen is these keyboard warriors or these guys on social media don't have a clue like what any of us go through and don't have a clue what how close we are together and how you know how we talk daily and stuff and, and you know I love Evan Singleton and always loved Sing Evan Singleton I love the way he comes across, I love like what you know the show he puts on with the WWE background and all that kind of stuff, and how he's how he's so confident in himself, and I love love that about him. And you know, this year he said he wanted to get to the World Strongest Man final, and he shut every single person up on the internet, and he made the World Strongest Man final, and not just that, he came fifth place in his first World Strongest Man final, and that's it. Kind of brings back to when I went to my first World Strongest Man final, I came fifth place as well, and I you know he was. So close for making on the podium, he did one wee mistake I think, on the stones, and that cost him podium. But Evan didn't have as much aggression. He kept himself calm between events. He, you know, switched on and off like I've never seen him before either. And like I said, he shut the whole of the internet up, which I'm buzzing with because he doesn't get enough credit of what he is. You know, he's got one an unbelievable dumbbell. He's unbelievable at deadlifts. He's all round. He's unbelievable. And to be able to get to the final now, say you know your top five in the world, special moment for Evan, and hopefully he can. Kind of you know, improves on that and can keep on, you know, getting mentally and physically stronger and don't care what anybody else thinks. Because that's what he said this year. I didn't care what anyone else thinks. It's uh, we're strong men athletes. Though well. we're the thirty of us here, done more than most people have in their lives, and we've already got onto a world strongest man stage. All Evan needed to do was, you know, prove it, and he's proved it. And yeah, I'm so happy for Evan. I love Evan and another guy that I was very impressed with, and he's going to go on now to do bigger and better things. Yako beating Brian Shaw in the heats, you know. I didn't know a huge deal about Yako. He just smashed it. He was just an absolute monster. Um, and it was a shame to see that, uh, you know, he had a bit of an injury in the dumbbell. Hopefully uh, he's going to come back and, you know, be, st be stronger than ever because he was a, a real talent and it was an amazing performance for him to beat Brian Shaw in the heat. So he, he really smashed it. And last question is, what's next? So for, for the next chapter of the Stoltman Brothers, the world's strongest brothers to ever live. Um, we're going to be doing the Albert Hall um, for Giants Live and then we're going to be doing Shaw Classic, Glasgow Giants Live, Cardiff Giants Live, Rogue Invitational, Britain's Strongest Man, Europe's Strongest Man. We're going to be doing everything because we want to win everything. I really need to start doing other competitions and really cementing myself in other comps and take kind of my consistency through worlds into other competitions so next up's Royal Albert Hall and I can't start saying Royal Albert Hall means nothing or Europe's is not nothing like I need to start like Royal Albert Hall's next I need to treat this like World Strongest Man I'm going to go in aggressive I'm going to go in fit I'm going to go in strong I'm going to go in ready and I'm going to go in to win you know the next four competitions I'm doing this year I want to at least you know at worst come on the podium and that's I think, you know, I'm good enough to podium every single competition I do and I need to start, like I said, taking my Welsh Shaw's man um, performances and start putting them in other competitions. If I do that, I know that I'm going to be the best. So, yeah, I can't wait for it. So, guys, thanks very much for watching. Thank you for the support. All the love. Over the last week, over the last few years, we're back 100%.
We're not taking any time off this year. We're hitting the ground running. We're back training Monday. We're prepping for the Albert Hall. We'll see you there. It's going to be awesome. And then we've got plenty more competitions this year. But thank you so much again for the support. We love you all. As always, stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. Have a great day. I will see you on the next video. Guys, so today I'm going to walk you through the log press. Hey guys, this is week one of the At The Stone tutorial by Tom Stoneman. Right guys, today's tutorial is...